Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, cooking with Richard. But I'm not doing the cooking today. Nope, I have a special guest. That's right, Mrs. G. And she's going to show us how to put together an awesome lasagna dish made by her Grandma Hall. Now, as you can tell from the beginning of the video, she's already been busy in the kitchen. She's chopped the onions. They're now sautéed with garlic on the stove. She's prepared the sausage. And I think it's time to go check on her and see how she's doing. Now we're ready to put the sauce together. I have one 28-ounce can. I'm using crushed tomatoes. Um, I think Grandma Hall always used the whole tomatoes, but you probably could use the diced. And then I've got three 6-ounce cans of tomato paste. And one of them, I'm using the Italian-style one, uh, just because we have that bought and it, it'll give a little bit more of the Italian flavor to it and I'm adding two cups of water to it and then we have our seasonings and this is two teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of black pepper and then after I mix this all all together I'm going to go ahead and add the sausage which I've drained already and so I guess I can go ahead and do that now and then we're gonna let this cook on top of the stove for it says 45 to 60 minutes I usually cook it for about an hour so while this is cooking I will go ahead and prepare the lasagna noodles in the uh, ricotta cheese layer The recipe calls for two pounds of ricotta cheese, but Dick doesn't like the ricotta cheese, so I mix it half and half. So I use ricotta cheese and cottage cheese. And I'm just going to kind of guess here. And then I'm just going to mix this all together and that's going to be our cheese layer it doesn't call for anything else just the just the cheese Okay, now we're ready to put the lasagna together to get it ready for the oven. What I did first was I put butter and grease the pan. And you're going to start layering. I counted about 721, so we're going to do three layers of this. So I'm going to put, see if I can get seven in here. Actually, I think we're going to go with six because I think that'll work. And now you put some meat sauce on it. And now I'm going to put the ricotta cheese layer on next. I'm just going to dump it on. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to melt. And then we're going to put the mozzarella cheese on. And then some Parmesan grated cheese. you start all over again and layer it again and you do the same thing
Now I'm going to make sure I get it all around the edges so it goes all the way on. And she would just kind of dump this on the top. And then as a finishing touch, she always put a little bit of paprika on top. Whoops. And I got a little bit more on that one spot, but I'll try and I'll smooth that out. So now this will go into a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. And then when it comes out, you let it set for about 15 minutes before you serve it. If you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. And this would be the perfect time to subscribe and ring that reminder bell. And this is what we're dealing with. And now you know what's up with Richard.